What's up everybody? I am back again with another video and today we've been going on a different reaction. So let me read the title real quick. Women refuse to pay for dinner, dates bill for appetizers, and want the group to split it. Yo, this is gonna be different. So y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get into it. In today's video, we take a look at a woman who refuses to pay the dinner bill for her group, and this woman here who is complaining about not getting enough attention after rejecting men. But before we jump in, please make sure to subscribe the channel and turn on the bell notification. There's this guy at my work, right? And when I first started, he was so nice, literally was like, hey, like, whatever, how's your day? He wasn't like exactly like that, but like, whatever. He was just really nice, really friendly, cool, cool people, okay? He told another coworker, oh my God, I like her. Like, tell her and then let me know how she's feeling. She told me, I said, man, this is not my type. I come into work the next day. I'm thinking everything's fine. Everything's cool. Everything's great. Literally, man's ignores my presence. I'm not even, I'm not even there. I'm air. I'm like a ghost. This man will not make eye contact with me. He will not acknowledge my presence. And he literally, like, it's like I'm non-existent. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Like, that's the vibe we're on now? Okay, cool. That man stood on business. He was there for one thing and one thing only. Now, I'm a strong believer in you shouldn't be frolicking, you know, messing around with coworkers. I'm a strong believer in that, you know, but y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do. Y'all grown ass man. I'm not your father. Do what you want. But that pretty pillars ran out, huh? <laughs> it ran dry. The well is dry. The audacity for that man to give you exactly what you wanted. You rejected him. You said no, and he just let you be. And that is her real problem. Thanks. She wanted to have the satisfaction of rejecting him and then toy with his feelings by keeping him in the friend zone. But he was having none of it, and that's how it should be. If a girl rejects you, then you have no business dealing with her. Thanks. Google Fi Wireless has flexible phone plans that keep your family safe and connected. They're the audacity. Women have been com complaining about men harassing them but the audacity of that man to comply and not harass you. The audacity, he should be stoned. He should be put in jail even. Dare I say it, he should be wiped off the face of the earth. <laughs> he refused to be in the friend zone. The only way you get inside the friend zone is if you put yourself there. He refused to be played with. He was there on a mission. The mission didn't go as planned, but he got his answer. And with his answer, he did with it what he pleased. So we know why she's mad. It's not that she want the man secretly. No, 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 no. She wanted to toy with him, you know? She wanted her ego boosted, but it got destroyed because he stood on business. Mission will always be the mission and no woman's antics, games, you know, her, her trickery, you know, her sorcery, none of that will get in the way of the mission. He stood on business, he stood his ground, and all men can learn from this situation, all men. All men can learn from this situation, and all men should learn from this situation. Because in the modern world, women are only looking to fill their rosters with different men. So to protect yourself from this humiliation, men should have the same attitude like this guy. Women refuse to pay wants the group to pay for the dinner equally. Listen, the loudest person in the room be the brokest person in the room. You really got to be careful about who you invite out to dinner. Because the fact that she ordered all of those appetizers and thought that she wasn't supposed to pay for anything is crazy. And then had the nerve to wobble herself up and say, oh, I'm not paying for nothing. If you don't wobble yourself back to the damn table and pay for this food, I know something. Because you must be outside your mind if you think today you leaving and you leaving me with the bill. Ladies, this one is for you. Please stop sending one of these fucking text messages to somebody that you are newly and recently dating. I have friends that tell me about this shit all the time and I, I just don't understand why you would send this via text. First off, 
if you are having issues, if you are feeling someone pull away, if you are feeling like there is something off, please do not send a text message to somebody, especially that like it's new and it's in the early stages of a, what are we? Are you mad at me? Are we okay? Anything like that. If you're having an issue with somebody, be a grown ass fucking adult and call them, have a conversation with them. If you want open and honest communication and intimacy and dialogue, you have to have face-to-face -face conversations or at least on the phone. So if you're going to talk about something serious like, hey, are you mad at me? Is there something wrong? Are we good? What's going on? Anything like that. Just ask them, hey, do you have a minute? Can I call you? Or can you give me a buzz when you have some time? I just want to ask you something. Don't make it so serious, but have the conversation like a fucking adult. That can't happen with the modern dating norms because modern women would rather not speak for the rest of their life than to admit that they can also make mistakes in a relationship. Secondly, if you are every single day texting this person first, every single day, good morning, how are you? What's going on? Constantly doing the check-ins. Where are you? What are you up to? What's going on? When am I gonna see you? You gotta read between the lines here. You gotta also let someone chase you a little bit. I'm not talking about a game. Nobody is saying that. But in the first, for me personally, in the first three to four weeks, like I very rarely will text a guy first just because like I'm giving a little bit of breathing space in there. I'm giving a little bit of mystery. Like I'm also super fucking busy. I've got a thousand other things going on. The last thing I need is is to, to check my phone a thousand times or to constantly check in with somebody. Of course, if I wanna send someone a message, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I don't believe in, in playing that game, but I do believe in living your own life and doing your own thing and not constantly being the first person because at that point you're leaving no mystery you're leaving no excitement it's just it almost becomes a chore every single solitary day if someone's constantly texting you especially like in the first couple of weeks and lastly do not send a passive aggressive text message if you're feeling any kind of way again all kind of stems right back to the first thing I said. Be a grown ass adult, pick up the fucking phone and stop texting people things that are a phone call or in-person conversation. I'm kind of just gonna reiterate the first thing because it's constantly all my friends will send me screenshots and it's almost infuriating to see some of the things they think are appropriate to talk via text. Moral of the story, be a grown ass adult and pick up the phone. That also can't happen with modern women because they want the rights of a man, benefits of a woman, and the accountability of a child. So them being an adult isn't going to happen. Disney Speedstorm is available now on mobile and PC with Google Play Game. Yes, I am. I'm here. Well, what? No. What? For telling the truth? You done lost your whole mind. Oh, my. Listen. It's okay. You don't think I'm disappointed? You don't think I'm disappointed that that ain't my grandchild? You don't think I'm disappointed that you picked that and I've been up here giving up my money and my time? I Things I could have been doing. You never liked from day. Just admit that. Just anybody admit that. but that. Just anybody but her. Yes, no, I you didn't like her. No. Else on other things. Oh, you talk I about see. accountability, but you can't say it. I think. Yo, that's crazy. Like, I think the mother was trying to look out for her son because I did seen those clip. I did seen this clip before because, like, like, like she already know because. She because then the mother already knew the child wasn't his. Like because I don't know, like 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 the mother should have stayed out of it. Like the mother should have stayed out of that situation because she shouldn't have never dragged herself. I know she's trying to look out for her son, but he's gonna have to figure out by he's gonna have to figure out on his own. Like I understand that that's a lot of mothers out there want to want what's best for their child, want what's best for their sons not to get hurt. Because like like and I'm gonna I'm gonna say this to y'all to see this is the reason why this is what mothers do and I know I I, I understand she wants what's best for her son but her son is a grown man like I would have like I would have like because I would have let my kids make their own decision but I would have never get in their way because guess what they're gonna have to figure out on their own they're gonna have to figure out on their own about the real reason why you never want to so, be well. it's my fault. Sasha has nothing to do with this. Everything that you've been doing lately is because of your vendetta with Sasha. That has nothing to oh, do with the truth. I see. So what I did was I made sure that baby has nothing in common with you or me. I'm the reason why it's a big zero on that piece of paper. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm the one who put my, mm, Lord Jesus, hold me. Oh, Lord, let me hold my peace. Boy, listen. Grow up and be a man. Face the fact. And just go ahead and move. Move on with your life, boy. Move on. That is not your child. That is not my grandchild. The $10,000, keep it. Keep it. So nobody knows about their family dynamics.
but if that DNA test is genuine, then this man should be ashamed of himself for not trusting his own mother and going by the word of a cheater. So it's time for him to be a man and make a clean break with his wife instead of blaming her for telling him the truth. The man is he always because as soon as my, I was born, what did Pops do? He left. He left you and he left me. So what? how did you know what a good man is? Oh, Lord. Jesus, I know you ain't going there. Let me tell you something. Your daddy was a Yes, he was. He was. Yes, he was. Yes, you know what? You know what? Sometimes the apple don't fall that far from the tree. You understand me? No, no. So listen to me. You know what? Take it from my side of the family. Well, f do what you got to do. Face the fact and just move on. You know what? To be mad at me? So be mad. That's what you need to do. No. You need to ask her. I'm just her. That's the question. You all up in my face. Getting in the face of your so-called woman. She's not even a woman. A woman is somebody you can trust. A woman, when you do a DNA test, it'll be in the 99s, baby, not in the zeros. No, you can't trust her, but you know who you really can't trust? That. You can't trust her. Now, you can't trust her. Okay. I'm the Okay. Do that. And I'm the After today, do not contact me no more. I don't want to hear from you. I don't, I don't want nothing to do with you no more. And that's on everything. That's on God. Well, you know what? You go ahead. Go ahead. Leave. Leave. But on your way out, pick up some fish you need. Hi. We're Visible. We offer one-line wireless plans with no hidden fees for just $25 a month on Verizon's 5G. I think, like, I think because, no, look, I'm going to say this to you, right? See, this is the reason why people need to understand, like, like, I understand, and I, I ain't going to lie to you, but the mother, but the mother had to do, had to do that for her son. She was trying to protect her son, but the father, but the father really doesn't, doesn't understand. Like, because number one, like, look, I'm going to say this to y'all, but, but it's, un because see, this is the reason why that that most people don't want to date you know you know the reason why that is like i'm gonna say this to you most women can't be trusted if i find out if i find out if their baby is not his then find out and find that you've been spending like a thousands of thousands of dollars taking care of a child that's not even yours and you don't commit if you don't have that deep connection with your child with your child that's not yours if you would have took a dna test and that found out this shit wasn't yours you would have disappeared you would have disappeared. You wouldn't say nothing. I would have left a note. I wouldn't say nothing. And like, I'm gonna say this to y'all. Like, we live in a crazy ass world. That's how we live in. That's how it is. Life is too short for all this bullshit. It is. So anyway, I want to thank y'all guys for for having y'all time for waiting for me to drop a video. So y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't mess it up miss another video and i will see you guys in the next video peace